Hey, what's up, guys? This is Water Geek. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Sam and Max, the Tomb of Summon Mach. We're still here in reel one of the Astral Projection, known as the Sphinx Challenge. And we actually can't do anything more in this reel before going on to the next ones. Um, so without further ado, let's move on to the second one. Now, forewarning, if you can't keep up with we'll multiple plot points at once, you're going to get dizzy while going through these... Well... I was about to say three reels, but I guess there are four, but the fourth one, again, as I've said in the last video, it you can't do anything in it until you complete the first three. So, let's start with the train to Egypt. And right off the bat, we're not going to be able to do much. I just want to get a plot point out of the way, and so we can go on to the third reel. Well, little buddy, here we are, bound for adventure on the Disorient Express. Egypt, land of ancient tombs and odd-looking humanoid figures with animal heads. I'm scared, Samoth. What if we don't fit in? We've got to. Mr. Paperweight has charged us with an important mission, and we can't let him down. I hope it involves asps. I love asps. You love the word asps. Tickets, please. Please get out your tickets. Now remember, don't breathe a word about our mission. We can't let a soul know we're headed to the tomb of Salmon Mock! Surprise, whoa! The devil's toy box! Cascading Cupid dolls and the four-color funny pages smeared with spaghetti! Name's Earhart. Baby Amelia Earhart, the famous lost kid. Perhaps you've seen my milk carton? I have, I have! I'm a spirited little tyke, lit off from the nursery one day and never looked back. I'm out for adventure, and I figure you might be needing a cute little sidekick. I've already got a cute little sidekick. Yeah, we don't need to see it, Samoth. Not now. Tickets! Produce your tickets! Tickets! I'll take those! I don't think so! Doing. Nope, give me the... <sighs> Open up and show your tickets. Everyone, be quiet! And invisible! I hope you have a plan! Open this trunk! And baby Amelia Earhart will not shut up. If you go into your psychic powers, you'll see you now have a can of nuts. You can't do anything with that right now. You are pretty much at a standstill with this because you'll fail it every time unless you have two things, both of which reside in the standoff, pretty much. You already have the can of nuts, which is one thing you actually need. The second thing is within this reel. Now, if you went and talked to that mole woman in the first reel about, uh... Quick, Samoth! Read the inscription! About the hieroglyphics. Um... Don't you remember your hieroglyphics? And if you went to try the Sphinx challenge, you will remember these are the same symbols. And she told you that these... This is the pronunciation of those hieroglyphs. Foot, snake, squeagle, squeagle, bird. You remembered! That's the way it is with foreign languages, little buddy. It's easy to get out of practice, but once you... Yipe! That daughter and bullets and foiled again! They're getting away! Doo -doo 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 -doo. Well, little buddy, here we are, fresh from a successful tomb raiding expedition in Lower Middle Egypt, back on board the Disorient Express bound for New York City. Remind me, Samoth, how did we manage to undo that security spell and swipe the Devil's Toy Box from the family of Guardian Moles? Uh -huh. Beats the hell out of me. Who can remember? The important thing is, the toy box is safe and sound right here in our... Holy Hercule Paul Rowe in a blood-soaked bathtub with a full set of dental records and a mud-caked work boot with two missing treads. We've been robbed. What he said. Must have happened while we were stocking up on ketchup packets in the snack car. Which means the culprit is on this train. Blah, nah, nah, nah. Oh, well, now we got another task to do. So once we exit our room, we'll see... Someone go that way. He bears a striking resemblance to one of the characters that you meet earlier on in the Sam and Max games made by Telltale. Before we, we do anything, I'm going to grab this. Because that's actually needed for something to do with, uh, with Kringle's room here. Our main goal in this reel, however, is to find the culprit. The one who stole the uh, Devil's Toy Box. You. You're the middle European jerk who got Maximus and me stuck on the wall back in the tomb of Samun Mac. Please, this is ancient history. Let go. Move on. Maximus, where are you going? Anywho, 
Uh, you're gonna have to check everyone in this train to see who stole the Devil's Toy Box from you, who stole it from the moles, who had it in the Tomb of Samanok for ages. In order to f better understand Jurgen's uh, predicament here, let's enter his room. Well, not really his predicament, but his phobias, if you will. Nobody home. There's garlic on the wall. And... Garlic, crosses, and wolfsbane. What do you make of that, little buddy? Jesus pesto? <laughs> <laughs> Methinks somebody's trying to ward off vampires. <sighs> Don't say me thinks, Sameth. I still love that line. What do you make of this, Maximus? Jesus pesto? No. Huh. Our compartment didn't come with a weird occult shrine in the closet. This must be the deluxe suite. Or, he stole that. That cephalopod has a familiar face. It's the guy from the tomb! Looks like he's lost weight. Dude, it's a replica. Calm down. So, we can't do anything in here. I just wanted to show off that he has a deathly... He has a death... Pho, de, de, uh, a uh, deadly phobia. That, that's the thing. Of vampires. You're gonna need to remember that. Nah. Hope we're interrupting something. Not at all. I was just leaving. I won't rest till you give me the... You know what? Goodbye. Here again. What the hell, um? <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Hey, remember us? Hi. Of course. You're the wise guys who made off with the devil's toy box, the treasure we moles have been guarding for almost 6,000 years. Cool, cool, depressing, Jurgen. What was that fellow with the fruity accent doing in here? Private business. Let's just say he wants something that only I can give him. Oh, Dad. <laughs> you don't have to be so secretive. Hey, your daughter creeps me out. After all we've been through together in real too, I feel I can speak freely. Yes? I'm sorry to report that your daughter is harboring a massive crush. On whom? Now, until you provide proof of this, he will not react to, any th to anything you say about Jurgen. If you s say something about the dummy, he will laugh at it, regardless of what you've done prior to this point, or up to this point, or whatever. So, for humor's, humor's sake... On my little buddy's ventriloquist dummy. Oh dear, that doesn't sound healthy. No, oh well, she'll either outgrow it or become a lonely, twisted old spinster with a toy fixation. Either way, I don't have to worry. I think that's a hint towards one of the previous Sam and Max episodes. I'm not sure. Keep riding the rails, Mr. Molman. Okay. Now, we want to inspect his steamer trunk, but he won't let us do anything with it if we check it as is. We need to have some sort of proof that we can check w something that's inside there that isn't supposed to be there. Nice hat and mustache. Use the ventriloquism with the steamer trunk. I'm a prisoner in here! Got someone in the trunk, eh? I'm afraid railway regulation number 268 leaves us no choice but to inspect it. You're not the train conductors! We're the untrained conductors! Go figure. Oh, well, go ahead then. Poof. Clothes, blankets, pots and pans, magical bric-a-brac, no toy chest in here. You missed the paper. I guess you're cleared. Why would we steal the toy chest back? It was hard enough to get rid of it. Okay, what's this parchment? Think this is significant? It's selectable, isn't it? Go, good That's point. just one of our magic spells. Pay it no mind. Only mole people can do mole magic. And that particular spell is only useful to those who are under the Dread Vampire curse. Dread Vampire? Isn't that the mole woman in the first reel? Isn't that her curse? Or the thing she was trying to do? What's with the three hands? Maybe we'll find out later. But, the moles are clean. They don't have anything in their uh, steamer trunk. What's behind here? Maybe the toy box is stashed behind all this luggage. Possibly. Let's start unloading. And then everyone lost their luggage. Nope, not there. Well, there's an asp. His name's Spot. You can use the snake. And that's only for flavor text. I'm not gonna do anything there. All right, let's go into back into our car. Hey, where you going? Who you doing? Where you going? What's it to you? Who done it? Get back here! 
Ooh, more Maybe baggage. Maybe the toy box is stashed behind all this luggage. We heard it. Possibly. Let's start unloading. We heard it. You did it again. Hey, a sarcophagus. Out of nowhere. Oh, not there. Well, nothing suspicious here. So we saw the elves come into this area, and their room is right next to us, but we can't really do anything with them right now. They, they, however, will give us the, uh, the lowdown on the toy idea we need for the first reel to be done. Uh, but we can't do anything about that yet. And over here we find baby Amelia's room. Hey, baby Amelia Earhart. I... She's napping. By the way, I'm trying. I was trying to play it out a little longer, but that's right at the Valkyries. It's playing on the music box. <sighs> so you're the type that would barge in on a girl and interrupt her nap time, eh? Can't say I'm surprised. What can I do for your fellows? You nap to right of the Valkyries? Always have. Puts me out like a light. Shows you how different people are. I always fall asleep to the tears of a clown. Poor old Chuckles. I think his shackles are too tight. Well, now that we know that, we can get back to real two and actually do things. Now, if you remember about the can of nuts, when we, we first used it, we, tr we teleported, transitioned, jumped into it, and basically hid for a short while. Oh, she won't drunk. shut up, oh, Santa! I know what to do. I'm great with kids. Okay, first, right at the Valkyries. Keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. Don't say a lot. Blah, 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 blah. We gotta hide! Alright, back to what I was saying about the can of nuts. You can use it to hide from the unknowing. Or the, for the, from the people who know nothing about a can of nuts. I'm coming in! I could have swore there was somebody gabbing in here. Huh. Nobody here. Reckon I were wrong. You were wrong. You was wrong. Swing. That was a close call. Lucky for us, we played that tour in Gutter Demeron. <laughs> we sure put one over on that sap of a conductor, didn't we, partners? Partners? For the last time, kid, you're not joining our outfit. Nonsense. This is just the beginning. We've got an endless series of marvelous adventures ahead of us. Yay! Ta -da! No fanfare. You'll find it's not so easy to impress these Egyptian types with your magic act, little buddy. These jokers ingest sorcery with their mother's milk. Speaking of which, it looks like we finally managed to lose that pesky baby Amelia Earhart. By George, you're right. That was a clever move, pointing her at that mirage and telling her it was an oasis. Oh, <laughs> little kids are so trusting. Now, let's get down to the business at hand. We've got to find the Devil's Toy Box before it's scooped up by some disreputable Tomb Raiders. More disreputable than us, you mean? Look for a hidden passageway leading to an endless labyrinth. No doubt we'll encounter a dizzying array of fiendish death traps, but if we keep our wits about Found us... Found it! About time. I was getting dizzy from all that puzzle solving they were just doing. <laughs> and yet, Samoth is still able to knock Maximus like f 500 feet in the air in this tomb. What are you doing? Whoa. Stop quaking with girlish timidity, Maximus. It isn't that. It's my psychic aura. It's acting up again, That's Samoth. That's a thing now? Something within that toy box is calling out to me. And smiling. Mustache. Mustache. Ventriloquist dummy! What? Sam, It's a ventriloquist dummy! And it's looking at me! Look, little buddy, it could be a fake. Well, well, what have we here? Tomb Raiders? Oh my. We haven't had a good raiding in nigh under 50 years. Now just sit tight for a minute. You're afraid you caught us with our trousers down, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, haven't bothered to reset the security system in... Oh, I don't know how long. Uh, now then. 
A protection spell looks to be in order, hmm? Purple stuff lighting up the blocks on that stupid wall. There, that ought to do the trick. Nothing beats a good old-fashioned protection spell. <laughs> now don't touch that toy box if you value your hide. And he ain't lying. If you touch that, you have to restart. Right back where you started. So it's good for humor's sake, but... There goes my aura again! I must have that dummy! And that... Oh, mother... That asshole! Yes, little buddy? It looks like you got your asp. And it's a big asp, too! What a bad asp. I'm just gonna let that one sink in for a little bit. If you come up here... Well, hold on a second. Look at that. Look familiar? It's Jurgen. Psst. Huh? Over here! You are wanting the devil's toy box, yeah? I can help you, but you must help me first. Okay. What's your problem? Bad accent? No, I have been confined on this accursed wall for decades. You must free me. Bitter? Um. What do we need to do to get you down from there? Do you see the bust of Samun Mark? There's a secret clasp underneath it. Release the clasp, and I am released from the wall, your grateful servant. Um, okay. How do we get to the bust? That is the good question. Hang tight. I'm good at that. Alright, let's try to figure this out. Man, that was hard. Okay, yeah, it was pretty obvious from the get-go, but hey. Let's go get the bust of Salmon Salmon Mock. Didn't realize he was a girl. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Know what I mean? I'm free! I'm free! Oh, glorious third dimension! Oh, blessed relief! <laughs> I'm free! What the? Who the? Hey! And you're not. So sorry. Got to run. <laughs> Wait. You said you'd help us land the devil's toy box. Do not be silly. What would a couple of bar reliefs want with a toy box? Choose. He stayed alive much longer than he needed to. A hey, guardian. Infidels, vipers, you have removed the sacred bust of Samun Mac. For your sins, you must remain on this wall. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, for how long? For eternity! <laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, threaten. No, bluff. Look, I shouldn't say anything, but my friend here, he's the one. The one? You know, the one. Like in the prophecies. Prophecies? Didn't you get some prophecies about a great powerful something or other with a magical thing? Uh, uh-uh. When we get home, I'm gonna have a little talk with my agent. <laughs> Alright, so that didn't work. Let's do a straight talk. By the way, uh, the result of this, you can only find through talking to that mole woman about the comics in that newspaper. I know, it's pretty weird. Okay, for reals, there's gotta be some way around this stuck on the wall for eternity, who, huh? Well... Shh. Yeah? Come on. Well, we have to let you off if you can answer the riddle of this fox. Which no one ever has. Alright, what's the riddle? Let's hear the riddle. <sighs> Alright. You who raid the Pharaoh's tomb, much deserving of your doom. If you want to save your hide, tell us what the gods deride. Hmm. What the gods deride? Hmm. Me being the guy who originally played this game not knowing anything about it and not knowing what to do, I was talking to the mole woman about everything, I was talking to Jurgen about everything, talking to the moles in Real 2 about everything, or Real 3 and every about everything, and then this. It stood out to me because that's the only thing on this list that, ma that came up prior to this point, so... To cut the cucumber lengthwise? 
<laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Boy, that's a good one. <laughs> Never gets old, does it? Yay! We're free! And we've still got the bust of Sam on Mac. Yay! Yay! Stop knocking him into the ceiling. If we come over here, you can see that mole man that we meet on the train later. Huh. Two doorways. Out! Two doorways! I just said that. The doorway of life and the doorway of death. Choose a right, and you will pass through to the Chamber of Delight, wherein our greatest treasure resides. Choose a wrong, a wrong, and a mighty scimitar will strike from above and slice you cleanly in half. <laughs> Proceed <laughs> if you dare. Maximus's face there was pretty good. All right, this is kind of a quote-unquote luck-based minigame, but not really because it's not based on the player's luck. It's based on Samoth and Maximus's luck. So right now they are lucky. Regardless of which one you pick, the scimitar will not come down on you. If you manage to turn Samoth and Maximus unlucky, whichever doorway you choose to go through will be the wrong one and you will get chopped. So you can't do any of that. But right now, it really doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm going to choose the right hand door because that's the right door. Get it? Wordplay. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Grr. You were supposed to go through the other door. The other door is the one with the scimitar. You won't be so lucky next time. I'm going to recalibrate the mechanism. You'll have to pass this point again on your way out, and then... Watch out! That's all. You're not allowed to look! I guess it's only fair to give him a second chance. I know, right? Let's go over here. That's the wrong title card. It's supposed to say Nefertiti's room. Hold it right there, buckos! Can't you read hieroglyphics? It's a turn and a leaf. Exactly. Turn and leap. The <laughs> two of us want to be alone. We happen to be sharing a super intimate moment. I can tell he's More staring. Tea, lover boy. Lover boy. It's the dummy. <laughs> His name is Charlie Hotep. Now, are you gonna keep away, or do I have to shit spot on you? What? Nope. Stay sullen, kid. Shut up. You don't actually have to talk to her about anything. All you gotta do, walk up. My inner sanctum! Ew. Ew. Exactly. Go get him, Spot! Hi, Spot. How you doing? Gonna hide from you now. Bye. Dude, where'd they go? Nom. Charlie Hotep is scaring me. Nah, 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 uh, nom. A can of nuts for our tea party? You're the best little snake in the whole world. And you're stupid. Well, Charlie, you finally got me alone. Now's your chance to murmur those three little words. <laughs> We're out of here. We're out of here. Yoink. You, you, see how you like Nefertiti's curse. Wait a minute, how does it go? Oh yeah. Wave your hands. Stop. But uh, oh, you messed up. Oh, no, you didn't. And does it feel humid in here or Maximus? Oh my cow. No, no, for the love of God. No. no! Okay. Uh, use the newspaper on it! It's no use. Cows can't read. Damn it! Okay, uh, second plan, second plan. Uh, use cookies. No, no, no. Cows don't eat cookies. Ah, shit. Um, uh, d uh, bust on cow. Can't use bust with cow? Am I cracking up? <laughs> I love that I love those lines. It's just hilarious to me. Alright, if you want to get Maximus back to normal, just do anything that the cow can't do, such as walk this way, talk to her, walk this way through the doors, or walk, talk to the mole man, or use one of his psychic powers.
Say something, little buddy. Moo. Ugh. Whew. He's all right. Good. Practice makes perfect, kid. I'm sure you'll improve. Oh, I hate you! You ruined my whole life! Good. Well, with that said and done, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Sam and Mock. Sam and Mock? The Tomb of Sam and Max. Yeah, let's go with that. So, hopefully you enjoyed. This is Water Geek, and I'll see you guys later.